In the wake of the deadly fire at a migrant detention center in Ciudad Juarez, advocacy groups in El Paso are working to offer support for the migrants and families affected by the devastation. Las Americas Immigrant Advocacy Center and El Paso's Diocesan uh, Migrant and Refugee Services have set up a fundraiser to help those affected by Monday's fire. Both local organizations work to assist those trying to make their way into the United States. We spoke with Las Americas Executive Director about the specifics of where these funds will go. The funds are specifically for the people that have been impacted, not staying with any of the organizations and going on to them. And so that's why we're working to get the right contacts on the ground to make sure that we have those people in place to, to get the right dollars to the right folks. Earlier today, Mexican authorities issued six warrants against three Immigration Institute officers, two private security officers, and the person who allegedly began the fire. The migrant surge in Sunlin Park is different. CBP officials say most of the migrants crossing through that area are trying to avoid detection and are not seeking asylum. That transient migrant population draws from local resources and law enforcement and first aid. ABC 7's Jared Ortega spent the day talking to Sunland Park leaders about the difference and what that means for first responders. He reports from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. I'm here in Sunland Park, New Mexico. You can see the U.S.-Mexico border wall just over my shoulder here. Customs and Border Patrol officials tell me this area has seen a 156% increase in migrant encounters just in the last year. Sunland Park emergency services tell me their resources are strained. Because of the height of the wall, it, it runs anywhere from about 20 feet to 30 feet in our, in our jurisdiction. So um, seeing those people fall from the wall, we see a lot of open fractures, which means that the bone actually penetrates, fractures and penetrates the skin. That becomes a very serious injury. Um, we'll see uh, a lot of head injuries as well. Um, Fire Chief Daniel Madrano of Sunland Park says they've seen a major uptick in calls for migrant injuries near the border wall. He stressed that the area will need more resources for the ongoing migrant crisis. The El Paso sector runs 268 miles of border from Deming to Fort Hancock. They've seen more than 224,000 encounters in the fiscal year 2023 so far, a 156% increase compared to the same period last year with three months to go. More than 67,000 encounters have been out of New Mexico, with the Santa Teresa stations shouldering the bulk of these cases. Unfortunately, we've seen no government support, nothing from the federal government and minimal from the state government. So it, it does become frustrating, especially when um, uh, when you're talking about such a small community whose, uh, whose budget is very tight as it is. Now, as Sunland Park City officials are struggling to keep up with the demand from the surge of migrants crossing into their city, they tell me they're currently hiring more emergency services personnel and have approved pay increases for emergency workers. More on that coming up at 6. For now, in Sunland Park with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Jared Ortega, ABC 7.